How to make wild bird seed grain spawn. First, get a mason jar, fill it three fourths of wild bird seed, and dump that into your container. Do this for as many jars as needed. Go ahead and boil some water on the stove. You're gonna need a lid that is tight fitting and won't let any steam out. It's a very important part of this tech. And turn off your burner. Move the pot to another burner that is not hot. Get your bird seed, dump it in. You're gonna close the lid now. Let that sit for 30 minutes. Don't open it. Now what I do is I pour out the sunflower seeds off the top and I pour the remainder into the coolander. So I'm gonna be rinsing here for about 10, 15 minutes because I want my bird seed to be really clean and the water to be crystal clear. So I spend a lot of time on this. Once you feel your water is running clear, you're gonna shake this coolander like a chef until you only get about one or two droplets of water coming out of it before you load your jars. To load your jars, just tilt and use a spoon and start scooping. I like to fill my jars about right here, that way once the jar is somewhat colonized, I can shake and have room for the grains to move around freely. Once that's done, wipe away any debris and water that could be on the top of the jar. Cover it up, close the lid. And that's done. Now I have three jars of grain spawn. What I'm gonna do here is grab some foil and I'm gonna be cutting the foil in one big piece and then I'll be cutting that bigger piece into a half and that half into another half. Go ahead and cover your jars firmly this way no water will get inside. We don't want to change the water content inside the jar, so that's the reason we're covering it with foil. Now get a rubber band, close them up. This is just to ensure that the foil is not gonna pop off during the pressure cook. All right guys, put four rings on the bottom of your pressure cooker. Now go ahead and put the plate that came with your pressure cooker on top of those rings. Now it's time to load your jars. After you've loaded your jars, we want clean water to go into the pressure cooker. Make sure you're not having any bird seed outside of the jars because we don't want the pressure cooker to get clogged. That works fine for me and I always have leftover water. Grab some oil and lube up your seal. Turn on your burner and put it on high. Once you start seeing steam, you can go ahead and close your lid. We're gonna close her up. Close the hatch. Now, we're gonna allow steam to build up. Once you see steam, wait another 10 minutes. After 10 minutes has passed, go ahead and put your weight on your pressure cooker. 
Now you're going to allow the pressure to build up to 15 psi, adjust your burner as needed. You will be pressure cooking at 15 psi for 90 minutes. So once your hour and 30 minutes is up, go ahead and turn off the burner and let it cool overnight.